In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Good morning to everyone joining us at home for Mass as well, hoping you're all well. I'm offering this Mass for Margaret McGlory. Please could you also remember to bring your prayers for Reed Williams, a parishioner of Standish who died yesterday. Please also remember her children and the rest of her family at this sad and difficult time for them. Today we keep the memorial of St Andrew Dunlack and his companions, canonised by Pope John Paul II on the 19th of June 1988. These are 117 people who were martyred in Vietnam. 96 were Vietnamese, 11 were Spanish Dominicans, and 10 were members of a Paris Paris-based missionary society. They were martyred between the years of 1820 and 1862, and amongst their number was a nine-year-old child. The gospel was initially brought to Vietnam in the 16th century, and over the next three centuries, many Christians were martyred, giving witness to the faith. The 117 martyrs whose celebration we keep today include eight bishops, 50 priests, along with laymen and women. Since the Roman decree of the 1st of June 1989, the Universal Church honours them on this day. So as we begin our celebration in their honour, we pause to call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs, St. Andrew Dunglack and his companions, faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant that, through their intercession, that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children, both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. And again, the response to the psalm today is every other line and is give glory and eternal praise to him. A reading from the prophet Daniel. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for his noblemen, a thousand of them attended, and he drank wine in company with this thousand. As he sipped his wine, Belshazzar gave orders for the gold and silver vessels to be brought, which his father Nebuchadnezzar had looted from the sanctuary of Jerusalem, so that the king, his noblemen, his wives, and his singing women could drank out of them. The gold and silver vessels looted from the sanctuary of the temple of God in the Jerusalem were brought in, and the king, his noblemen, his wives, and his singing women drank out of them. They drank their wine and praised their gods of gold and silver, of bronze and iron, of wood and stone. Suddenly, the fingers of a human hand appeared and began to write on the plaster of the palace wall, directly behind the lampstand, and the king could see the hand as it wrote. The king turned pale with alarm, his thigh joints went slack, and his knees began to knock. Daniel was brought into the king's presence. The king said to Daniel, Are you the Daniel who was one of the Judean exiles brought by my father, the king from Judah. I am told that the Spirit of God most holy lives in you and that you are known for your perception, intelligence, and marvelous wisdom. As I am told that 
you are able to give interpretations and to unravel difficult problems. If you can read the writing and tell me what it means, you shall be dressed in purple and have a chain of gold put round your neck and be third in rank in the kingdom. Then Daniel spoke up in the presence of the king, keep your gifts for yourself, he said, and give your rewards to others. I will read the writing to the king without them and tell him what it means. You have defied the Lord of heaven. You have had the vessels from his temple brought to you, and you, your noblemen, your wives, and your singing women have drunk your wine out of them. You have praised gods of gold and silver, of bronze and iron, of wood and stone, which cannot either see, hear, or understand, but you have given no glory to the God who holds your breath and all your fortunes in his hands. That is why he has sent the hand which by itself has written these words. The writing reads, many, many, Tekel and Parsin. The meaning of the words is this, many, the God has measured your sovereignty and put an end to it. Tekel, you have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. Parsin, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and Persians. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Showers and dews, all bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Winds, all bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Cold and heat, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Please stand to welcome the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, praying at all the times, for the strength to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Men will seize you and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to imprisonment and bring you before kings and governors because of my name. And that will be your opportunity to bear witness. Keep this carefully in mind. You are not to prepare your defence, because I myself shall give you an eloquence and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to resist or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relations and friends, and some of you will be put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name, but not a hair of your head will be lost. Your endurance will win you your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardour to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Andrew Dunlach and his companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence 
we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.